Now that the scene is in place and you have animated the camera shake, it is time to animate the word quake to break into pieces. In order to do that, you will use two different techniques. The first technique involves using the Pro Cutter tool to break the word into large chunks. The second technique involves the use of a third party script to break some of those chunks into smaller pieces. To use the Pro Cutter tool, you will need to create a few cutting planes. In the front view, use the line tool in corner to corner mode and create four or five random splines that cut across the word quake. Select all the lines and extrude them by a value of about 20 or 30. You can actually use any value bigger than 4, which is the extrusion value used for the text. It's also safer to relocate the extruded lines so that they completely cross the text. Select any of these lines and go to Create Geometry, Compound Object, and click the Pro Cutter button. Click the Pick Cutter Objects button, and then select the other lines that are meant to be used to slice through the text. Enable the Auto Extract Mesh and Explode by Elements options. This will ensure that the remaining pieces are separate entities. Also, Enable both Stock Outside and Stock Inside Cutter options to make sure that chunks on either side of the cutting planes are preserved. Finally, click the Pick Stock Objects button and select the word Quake in the viewport. The word is now divided into separate pieces. At this time, the cutting planes are still selected but no longer useful as they fill their purpose. Simply delete them from the scene. Next, you will reduce some of these resulting pieces into smaller chunks. You could still use the Pro Cutter tool to that effect, but a much simpler solution is to use a third party script called Fracture. Using an internet browser, navigate to www.scriptspot.com. Run a search for Fracture. You'll get a number of returns. The script you are looking for is named Fracture Voronoi. Download the latest version to a location on your hard drive. Once you've done that, you are ready to use it. From the Mac script menu, choose Run Script. Browse to where you downloaded the script and double click it. A dialog appears. Click the Pick Object button and then select the piece you want to break down into multiple chunks. Choose the number of chunks you want to generate. The higher the number, the more pieces you get, which means the individual pieces will be smaller. In this movie, we'll use 30 parts, but you can experiment a bit with that. Keep in mind that you can define different part numbers for different pieces. Set the resulting wire color to uniform. This has no effect on the simulation, it only makes reading the scene a bit easier. Click the Break button to run the script. Select another piece and rerun the script. Keep on selecting large pieces and break them into smaller chunks. Keep in mind that you don't want all pieces subdivided, so make sure you keep a few of them whole. When you're done, close the script window. In the next and last movie, you finally get to animate the pieces using the Mass Effects Dynamic Simulation.